education under attack, what do we do? Rise up, white right man! Indigenous students under attack, what do we do? Rise up, white right man! Queer students under attack, what do we do? Rise up, white right man! We are not okay with the unfair, privatized education system <laughs> on the pretext that we don't have the power to change it. Well, I think today is evidence that we do. <laughs> education is a right. We will not give up the fight. What do we want? We and when do we want it? Yeah. specifically drawing you out to the protest today? Um, I'm out to stand in solidarity with all my brothers and sisters that are incurring serious debt uh, for education. It's a right, not a privilege, so it should be free, um, so that we can be all we want to be. I think for um, minorities it's hit as, as well really hard. Um, immigrants, international students, they pay a lot more than and, and than uh, domestic students, so they're hit really hard with uh, tuition fees, and again, it, it should be free. I see you got a little guy here with you. Uh, what's, uh, what's his name? Kian. This is my little boy, Kian. He's four, and he's in senior kindergarten. He's a future genius, as you can see, and he loves school. Great, and uh, this, uh, basically, what are, what are some of the reasons why you're out here today, Shana? Uh, myself, as a single mother who found themselves laid off in their late 30s, had to return to school. Um, it's very expensive. There's a lot of barriers for single parents returning to school, a lot of barriers for mature students. And I'm really hoping that my son will be able to go forward to go to school when it's his time around. I have an RESP, but I'm not sure that that's going to be enough for how much the tuition is skyrocketing. And so we're really hoping that we can fight the fees and make education free. You know, I'm so proud of what we're doing to uh, bring in free tuition for 150,000 students. Uh, the changes we're making to OSAP mean that people, uh, we're going to be able to help, help students from families of, of income up to $160,000. And it's progressive, but if your family income is 50000 or less, you're getting free tuition. So for me, the big thing is about um, taking down the financial barriers for people who face those financial barriers. And uh, what do you, how do you describe the turnout today uh, so far? Amazing. Um, turnout is much more than we expected. We originally expected about 100 students and we ended up with over two buses worth of students coming to this rally. So, I mean, that's amazing. Ready to keep fighting after today? Absolutely, yes. I mean, it, the fight doesn't stop just because today finishes and we all go home and, you know, put away all of our placards. No, we still keep going because if we don't keep fighting, then nothing changes. I hear the struggle, I hear the concern, uh, and I'm not fooled like nobody on this lawn is fooled by the, pre, pre, the, by the you know, pretend free tuition that the Liberals have announced. I mean, it's, uh, it's very, very worrisome. Liberals are now talking about taking the cap off of uh, the tuition increases, so uh, uh, the last couple of years it's been capped at 2%. If that cap comes off next year, who knows how high the tuition fees are going to go. Uh, again, that's, that's not the direction we should be headed. We should be trying to uh, start with a freeze in tuition and, and start to, you know, going from there to get things under control, because right now uh, it's going to get worse and worse and students are going to carry higher and higher debt loads. So we're not looking at a freeze on tuition. Um, we are looking at uh, predictable uh, low increases in, uh, uh, in tuition and as I say that tuition framework is something that we're looking at. I don't think we'll get to zero. Uh, we, we really believe that, that post-secondary education is a shared responsibility. Um, students have an obligation to, uh, uh, to contribute as do their, does their family if they're able and, uh, and government as well. So we're all in this together but collectively we have been able to eliminate the financial barrier to post-secondary education, and that's huge. Specific communities of students are maybe affected more by the rates of, um, of tuition, by the lack of uh, access to education. Could you speak a little bit on that, please? Yeah, it's actually a, a very grotesque issue in our communities right now. Over 50% of university enrollments and close to 50% of college enrollments uh, come from families that are making over $250,000. Um, we see an erasure of low-income students on our campus that are making up uh, just under 10% of our campus populations. Uh, and that points to uh, a, a really serious issue. Uh, that points to the, the public policy that has been coming out 
of both provincial and federal governments of high tuition fees and then high aid on the side just isn't working. It isn't helping people get through the door and in fact it's burdening students. Uh, we need to see them do more and do better and uh, recognizing that tuition fees are the most significant upfront barrier to ac education. Uh, if they're interested in resolving this issue, we'll see uh, a reduction in the elimination of those fees. What are you here to do, Keith?